morning. It's bright and early. Well, not so much bright, but it's early. You feel me? <laughs> so welcome to my 5 a.m. You heard me. 5 a.m. productive morning routine. So we looking crusty, dusty. No one's up except you and a bird. <laughs> I don't even feel like I'm a person at this point. Even though I set two alarms, I like to get up at the first one. I don't do my normal full skincare routine. Instead, I just wash my face with water and then put on some moisturizer. So I save all that deep cleansing for after the gym, okay? When I've been sweating and having a mask rub up against my face, etc. When is this early? I just do a quick little moisturizing and cleanse. I pick out my gym outfit the night before. I forgot to show you all that, sorry. <laughs> because that way I'm not struggling to find one in the morning, you know? I just got my outfit ready. As soon as I wake up, I just grab it and get ready. First off, let me start by saying that I'm a morning person, but I do need like a little some time to myself in the morning. The feeling lingers on every day of every month, wishing I just could forget about you. The weight upon my bones makes it harder to move on, oh baby. Don't be My gym appointment was at 6 a.m., but I like to have some time just before to get ready, eat if I want to, relax, etc. So when it's this early, my tummy isn't really used to eating, but I know I'm about to exhaust my body at the gym, so I don't want to do it fasted. I used to do this, and then when I would have a lot of issues of like feeling weak after and really, really tired. So I grab a pure protein bar and a protein shake. I drink the shake before I go, and the bar is just like to hold me over until I get home to make breakfast. So I don't always eat it, it's just like if I'm really, really hungry, I just have it there just in case. If you're new to my channel, I now have a personal trainer. He gives me a set amount of calories, I track my macros, I do a lot of what I eat in a week videos, as well as show you my meals in most of my videos. So today was back and biceps and I feel like my channel gets a lot of people assuming that I only work my legs but honestly most people would think that I like they was my favorite and while I do enjoy good booty workouts <laughs> upper body is one of my favorite things to work so and I train my chest okay I do train all my body parts it's just that sometimes it's harder for me to record them because the gym is busy and crowded Tell me how you All right, so my trainer gave me four sets of lat machine closed grip rows. As you can see, this was my first time doing it. And if I looked a little confused, that's because I was. And it's like all these people are looking at you in the gym. And like when you're trying to do a new exercise, it is you have so much anxiety because at first I thought this is like a shoulder movement, like doing an upright row. And then I realized, no, this is meant to target your back. <laughs> so then I finally got the hang of it. I've always wanted to try these on a Smith machine. And wow, it is so much better better okay the way my trainer designed my workout it's usually three to four sets of a compound exercise superset with an accessory move so this is how i trained before lockdown so it really helped me get back into like a normal workout routine my sets were also designed in a pyramid so i had four sets of the smith machine bent over rows 20 reps the first set, 20 for the second, then 15 for the third and fourth. This was superset with 15 reps of a reverse grip bent over row. If you guys have never tried a row on a Smith machine, I really, really encourage it. It really helps you isolate the back muscles. I've done these with barbells and I had a really hard time just cause you kind of have to like bend over and I feel like I felt a lot of discomfort in my back. So I feel like the Smith machine kind of helps you with your form and you just feel a lot better. So try it out. Next, we had three sets of 20 machine seated horizontal grip rows. Ooh, that was a mouthful. Super set with 15 reps of hammer bicep curls. I prefer bicep curls just because I can get a better range of motion. I really feel these like in my biceps and like I'm pretty sure in this video you can see my muscles working and everything. Like I see the definition. So honestly guys, I've been really enjoying being back to the gym. It feels so good just to get back into a routine and have access to weights. The gym for me, honestly, I love seeing people working on themselves and seeing other people push themselves. It just makes me want to push myself, you know? 
It's like all the energy in the gym just makes me feel like I want to get stronger and do better. I definitely was struggling for a while at home with the home workouts. It, I was a good board. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. Don't get me wrong, before this, I was incorporating a band into my workout, which made it kind of interesting, but I do prefer my weights. I was struggling with what I could film for content because honestly guys, going back to work and just being so busy and the move and everything, I wasn't sure what, what I could record. I just don't have time. Uh, but then I realized, well, my channel was made to document my fitness journey. So why not do like fitness vlogs and just show you how my workouts are going, include my meals and what I do in a day. I've never really shown you guys my personal life or anything like that, but like I'll start. <laughs> so if you guys really enjoyed these gym vlogs, let me know and like this video. I'll keep filming them. I know me personally, I like watching these types of videos because it really motivates and inspires me. So if I'm having like an off day or I'm feeling unmotivated, I just go watch like my favorite influencers workout routine and it just makes me want to get up and work out. Does that happen to you guys too? Like literally my entire subscription feed on YouTube is like you guys, the ones who make videos and watch my videos, like your workout routines, what you eat in a week, blah, blah. Like my whole feed is just workout fitness content. So I'm just surrounding myself with this positive energy and just this all this fitness energy so that when I'm feeling down, I can go watch this content and just, it kind of just picks me up. So if you guys are feeling in a rut too, I really, really encourage you to do this. Even on Instagram if you want. Like I follow a bunch of black fitness influencers, you know, the more curvy style, getting their fitness in, trying to get them abs. And then it motivates me. And then I focus on my goals again. Cause sometimes I know it's, it's you get off track, I get it. And like you, <laughs> you guys have been seeing on my channel, I definitely, was going through a really rough time and felt kind of down, unmotivated for a bit. So if you are feeling in a rut, surround yourself with what you want to be, with who you want to be. You want abs? Surround yourself with a bunch of ab workouts and a bunch of people who got abs. It's going to help you reach your goals. I'm, I'm telling you, trust me. So this workout felt amazing. I felt so good, so strong. I was a bit anxious when I first walked in, but honestly, as soon as I got into the workout, it just went away. I was just feeling focused, I was recording, I was getting my workout in, I knew exactly what I had to do because my trainer just planned it out. I didn't have to think. I had my exercise written out. Oh, by the way, so I don't use my phone at the gym. Obviously I'm recording, but I don't like to view the app at the gym because I feel like it's a distraction and you go see the notifications and stuff. So I write it out. So I actually have a book with me and I write out the exercises and sets so I don't get distracted. I am completely focused. <laughs> and can I say, being up and being so productive before 9 a.m. just felt so good. I usually work out in the evenings after work, but for my days off, I prefer the morning. So I got in a killer workout in and then I get to go home and eat and just like enjoy the rest of my day. The last exercise in my workout was a burnout. So as many reps as possible. I did machine assisted wide grip pull-ups. My trainer put a goal of 60 reps, but I know for the first day hitting back, that was a little crazy, a little crazy. Okay, so I I've been on a long break. I haven't trained back in a long time. So I would only be able to do like a few sets. So what I did was set the machine at 150. So I use these as a burnout to exhaust my muscles. And at, at the 150, weight but the machine isn't really assisting me like as much like it's still if I let go the machine's just gonna fall down with me it's just giving me a light assistance just in case my muscles fails that's what I like it at the lighter the weight is the harder it is as I set my weight at 150 that's gonna be challenging for me so the machine isn't gonna help me as much so next week I will set the machine at about 140 that's gonna be even more challenging for me okay and if I'm feeling not so strong then I would go down to uh sort go up to 160 okay y'all get it I know that was confusing, I'm sorry. So I use these as a burnout to exhaust my muscles. I split it up in sets of 10. I aimed for 10, but I wanted to try and see how many I could do before I couldn't anymore. So I felt really, really good after this. So I think for the first set, I hit six. And then after that, I just kept pushing myself. I hit 10, I hit 10, I hit 10. So then in total, I did, I think I did the 60 reps, but you know, next week we're gonna see what we're gonna do. So I'll film my workouts again and we gonna do this all over again. So after my workout, I had a little extra time left over and we get an hour and 15 minutes of the gym so I you know I wanted to make use of my time so I went on the treadmill and I, I kid you not I was on there for like five minutes <laughs> and then they come around with a sign that says 10 minutes left and then you have to kind of get off I was like oh whatever Man, that was such a good workout. I'm sitting outside, it's kind of foggy, hazy. Honestly, I get, I got that after workout 
pump after workout serotonin i'm feeling good and it's only 7 9 a.m that is amazing y'all if this was the reminder that you needed to get up and be productive do it okay like i got a amazing back and bicep workout in i'm about to head home cook up some brekkie i'm going grocery shopping today i'm gonna get everything done today was so productive and it's just crazy that i got all that in before 7 a.m okay so i'll see you in a bit so uh i went home <laughs> had my breakfast this beautiful looking oatmeal it's nice and purple it's from the blueberries but this is part of my meal plan so i have my oatmeal i have two sets of eggs and i always go for my daily walk so if you are new to my channel i've been doing i've been aiming to get in 20k steps a day and i've been sticking to that goal can't lie to you, some days I don't hit the 20k steps, but you know, we trying out here. So I go on my daily walk, nice and relaxing, you know. Someone's birthday over there. Look at how many flamingos there are. <laughs> okay, I wanna show you what I got. So of course I got my fruit snacks. I was missing these. These are really good macros, so if I feel a little low, the pick me up, I got that. Bubbly, this is definitely the French side, okay. <laughs> I always try to find the English side and I keep failing, but Pineapple, this is the best flavor, don't at me. I'm telling you, pineapple bubbly, top tier. And then I got these like lettuce, look how cute they are, they're so tiny, it's called Sweet Little Gem Hearts, adorable. So I got these to do like, um, I'll cook like ground turkey and then I'll make like a lettuce wrap kind of thing. And then I've been really, really sore after my workout, so I got these BCAAs, I've been eyeing these for a minute, I researched them and stuff like that. This is a really good brand. So Walmart only had blue raspberry and I think like some other flavor. I just didn't want it. So I had to go to Popeyes and then they had mango flavor. So I got that. So I'm gonna have some today cause I'm really, really sore. So yeah. I forgive myself for 